Hi Aries, welcome to your daily video. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so excited to bring you this um, energy of the astrology going on right now. We have the planets um, aspected to each other in squares. So a square is an alignment. It is not a conjunction. It is a resistance. Squared off planets are, you know, resisting the energy of the other planet. They are stubbornly trying to go their own way and resisting the energy of the other planet. So they're not conjunctions. A conjunction would be sextiles and trines. Sextiles and trines create flow, like a water flowing down a river, and this would cause very intense, powerful energies. When something is in resistance, like we have Uranus squared off to Saturn direct in Aquarius, we have discipline and order and the collective resisting the energy of a need to be free, which is Uranus and Taurus, a need to be a free spirit or to have independence in regards to your money or your career. So there's also Mars squared off to Saturn. Mars and Scorpio, you want to be your own person. You want to be true to yourself. You want something to do with your soul's desire. Your deepest desire is resisting what is the orderly discipline on society or a group of people. Now that could be many different things. There's a desire to be true to yourself, which is Chiron and Aries sextiled to um, Saturn. Now being true to yourself is aligned with what will work for society. So it's better if you're true to yourself. Um, we have Mars sextiled to Venus. So this will actually do well for you and your reputation if you're true to your soul and your soul's purpose. Find a purpose and be true to who you truly are is what this energy is. Um, they're not conjunctions. There are sextiles, Mars sextiled to Venus, but it's really about a square. There's a square here, a resistance to um, this discipline of Saturn. Saturn is what wants you to buckle down and work hard in order to get your fame and, fame and fortune or to buckle down and follow the rules. And this is on Aquarius, which is the collective society groups. And this energy is being resisted by Uranus and Taurus, independence and freedom in opposition to Mars and Scorpio. So Uranus wants to be free, innovative, do new things. In Taurus, it's about money. So it wants to be innovative. Mars and Scorpio wants to do a deep dive into the soul and an investigation into the soul's true purpose. So Mars squared to Saturn is a desire to be true to yourself um, as opposed to just following along the orders of society, which can be many different things right now. It can be a lot of different things. So be true to yourself. Know who you are is the number one thing here because Chiron and Aries, you could have wounds from the past or anything that has wounded you where you're resisting this energy of conformity is uh is saturn and aquarius there's good uh in a, a feeling of wanting to conform that saturn's like everybody has to conform and then there's a resistance here with the t-square so we have double yods two hands of fate or destiny going from virgo to mars and up to chiron so being true to yourself is very important right now. Knowing who you are is important. Scorpio, know who you are at the soul level, at a fundamental level, and you actually won't get sucked away by any kind of peer pressure or, um, you know, conformity. Someone who, someone or something or a group that wants you to conform. If you know who you truly are, it doesn't really matter because you're being true to yourself. 
Venus is squared to Chiron. Venus and Capricorn. Um, fame and fortune. Material abundance or I'd say like material wealth that's kind of fake. Like labels or any of that kind of stuff. Um, is not true to who your soul's purpose. Finding your soul's purpose at this moment in time, tomorrow is the 11-11, is very important. So focusing on your inner self and your soul, what rings true to your soul as opposed to false, um, false senses of security, which could be like labels or any of that kind of stuff. The moon in Capricorn is connected to fame and fortune. You'll feel more satisfied if you have these things, but it doesn't ring true to your soul. So even if you're like, I really, really want this certain thing because it will make me feel good. Actually, you could resist it at this time because you really need to just do a deep dive into the soul and find out why is it I'm desiring this thing so badly. Um, it could be Gemini, which is other people telling you or marketing or data, people telling you that you need this certain item. Um, because Mars and Scorpio is very intense energy coming from the soul straight up to the North Node Gemini marketing, social media. It's being crammed down your throat that you have to have this certain thing, but it's kind of taking away from your soul's purpose. So knowing who you really are is really important for this 1111 transition that we go through. Okay, so Aries, I'm so happy to bring you this message today. I feel like it's a great energy we're going through this portal um, because it's reminding you who you truly are as opposed to being told what you need to have or what you need to do to conform. Okay, so what are we getting here for Aries? I'm using the Unicorns by, what is this? Magical Unicorns by Doreen Virtue. So Spirit and Angels, what do we have here for Aries? What do they need to see? There we go. Share, okay. When you share, everyone feels happy. It's true, and a lot of information I get has been shared from other sources. Um, a lot of it is my own, um, but I've learned from others. So let's get one more message here for Aries. There it is. Listen to your true feelings. Um, don't let others, oh my goodness, it's exactly the message I just said. Don't let others talk you into doing something that you know is wrong. Or it could just be that you feel it's against your, it's against your beliefs or it's against what you, your soul is telling you, your gut feeling. Um, it's like, yeah, that's what we're going through right now. It's like a test. So be true to yourself. Don't, you know, allow someone to influence you to a point where you're doing something that's against your soul's purpose because Gemini North Node is very intense you get tons of marketing ten tons of texts emails social media everybody telling you what you need to get or buy and it will make you feel better or successful which is Venus and Capricorn it's like if you get this car you know, or whatever, whatever you buy, you're going to, you're going to feel amazing. Um, so it really has to do with being true to yourself and your soul. Um, cause the odds are hand of, hands of fate or destiny. They're destined events. So let's see if you buy that car. Now you got to make the payment. So let's see. All right, I'm going to cut this for you, Aries. Okay.
the ace of truth, clarity, victory, and overcoming defeat, triumph, new information. The sun card, happiness. This is the most happy and optimistic, positive energy of the entire deck. So the sun is shining brightly on something for you here, Aries. Something that you need to see and be aware of. There is positive energy out there. Okay. In the crossing is a page of swords. The page of swords is information that's brought to you. A lot of ideas, but it could be childish, childlike, challenging, inexperienced, gossip. Anything there that causes you a challenge. Okay, we have a Nine of Cups underlying. You're either really content with yourself right now, or you do have some kind of wish fulfillment, emotional wish fulfillment, a wish coming true, something that you've been hoping for. You're almost coming up to the Ten of Cups. Two of Swords in the most recent past. There may have been some information that you received that was causing you to have conflict in your mind where you were confused or you had a decision to make. Something here was maybe even you're in denial. You didn't want to see the truth about something. So your energy is High Priestess. This is very um, spiritual, it's divine feminine, it's connected to the spirit realm, high intuition, connecting with spirits and angels. High priestess energy is very, very intuitive. So listening to your angels, your guides, having downloads, having inspiration, but it's also quiet. It's being quiet and listen to, listening to your heart and your soul. Okay, we have a page of wands, inspiration, feeling very inspired. Finding inspiration in something, maybe receiving a message about something. Okay, your energy is a tower here. You're coming in with tower energy, all right? It hits you, it hits you like you're not expecting it. The well. Okay, I'll have to look up the well. The well I know is something about deep emotions from below the surface. So it's kind of Scorpio. Eight of Swords is your fear. Worry, fear, trapped, isolated, alone, um, nervousness or anxiety, self-doubt. Seven of Pentacles, considering your resources or planning, thinking about your next steps. Okay. The Nine of Air, worry, fear, anxiety. About the Eight of Pentacles. You've been working really hard. You've been focused and very determined on building an empire or building a craft or... Uh, a career and there could be something here that is upsetting you the hermit somebody is going to shed light on a situation it's a very wise person it could be someone who has the answers okay let's see the bottom of the deck was new information or truth what was behind it ten of pentacles long-term connections family money career, anything where it's a long-term commitment. Four of Swords, Hierophant, Five of Wands. Very competitive energy is underlying. There could be an Earth sign here, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, let's see here. What is happening? It causes you to start to rethink or reevaluate. Um, So the Sun card, something coming to light here that you possibly you weren't expecting. So this artist created this well, let's see, 22. Um, 
So it's the world card. Having nurturing opportunity, creativity, major transformation. Oh wait, it might not be the world. I'm sorry, it's the judgment. Okay, well, let's just see. Page of Wands is a very immature energy. So you could be dealing with two immature people. Page of Swords, Page of Wands. Younger, youthful, usually lots of energy, but they it's immature. It's somebody who's not professional. They are inexperienced. Okay, what are we getting here? Wow, King of the Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, and a Ten of Swords. There may be some pain surrounding a situation. There could be an Earth sign or someone with Earth in their chart. What is the Ten of Swords? Okay. It's actually a good thing. You get the Star card. So there's something that you're going to be able to put behind you. Oh my goodness. Now I've got the Ten of Cups. The Happily Ever After, the Happy Home. What is the Seven of Pentacles? The lovers, Gemini energy, a blessing, a choice you have to make. Oh my goodness, look, the seven of pentacles. You've invested time, money, and energy into a situation, and you're considering what are you getting out of a situation. What is the page of wands in the future? What is the Page of Wands in the future energy here? Okay, the Tower. So what is this Tower? Ten of Wands, Responsibility, Work, Carrying Burdens, Knight of Coin. Okay. Somebody's offering you something, but it involves more work. The Devil. Okay. So somebody is kind of offering you something, saying, would you like to do this? Here's this opportunity. However, you have to work 18-hour days, and uh, you have to work with people you don't like. <laughs> so you're thinking, what's in this for me? Um, I don't think I want to do this. What is the tower about here? You may be just letting it go and saying no. Let's see, what is the tower about, please? What is the tower? The death card, a change, transformation, an ending. What is the high priestess about? Because you're following your intuition or you're finding out something that was, okay. Six of Wands, a victory. Getting a lot of attention from people. Okay, so what is the Six of Wands? Okay, something about getting a lot of attention, Nine of Swords, and the Eight of Swords, feeling trapped, worried, or concerned. What is underlying with the Nine of Cups? Ooh, the Justice card, Fairness, Equality, Balance. Something needs to come into balance here. Okay. I've got a cat going crazy. She wants in the room. Okay, so we're starting here. Um, now, you're thinking about an opportunity that's being offered to you that you don't really like so much. You don't really like what's being offered. High Priestess. Distancing yourself from a situation. Following your intuition. Underlying is a Nine of Cups. The Star card. Releasing something having hope for the future, putting something behind you. What is the tower? Okay, the nine of cups. Okay, there's something about a celebration, something that is good that's happening, but it's like bittersweet. Two of cups. Okay, partnerships, bonds. What is the devil here? Relationship with someone that where there is love, Reciprocity. But there's something unexpected. 
strength card. What is the death representing? What is the death representing? Okay, the Ten of Swords, the ending of pain, the ending of stress. What is the Ten of Swords here? Okay, we have here the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and somebody is giving you more responsibility or something that is a heavy weight on your shoulders. You start to consider this. There's a judgment. There's a day of reckoning, a spiritual renewal, and the Empress. Wow. Why is there so much stress, worry, and pain surrounding this situation? Why is there a nine of swords? Nine, seven. Because there's an offer coming in, and you're putting a lot of thought into it. What is the lovers? What is the lovers? The death card. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so there's a change. Clarify the death. The death is an ace. So there is an offer. There's a new offer coming towards you with the lovers. So it's either a new love or it's a new opportunity for a partnership or a union in your life, in business or career. So what's happening here is underlying energy is that there's a wish coming true, a wish that's fulfilled, something suddenly, unexpectedly happens. What is the devil? What is the devil energy here? Okay, there's something about somebody making you feel stressed out, stressed out, anxious, or worried, or concerned. Eight of Swords. That was a person around you, perhaps. Seven of Pentacles. Valuating their investment, feeling like they've got to make a decision about the future. So the High Priestess comes into your awareness. It could be a secret. It could be someone who's distancing themselves. It's about following your intuition. What is High Priestess here? Wow, Ten of Pentacles, money, wealth, and abundance. Long-term commitments, financial gain. Somebody could be holding back, Four of Coin. Okay, this is a lot of cards, I know. Six of coin. Okay, so somebody's paying you, rewarding you. Okay, underlying energy is justice, the nine of cups. Justice and the nine of cups with the star. There is hope and healing here. Something suddenly occurs that puts an end to some kind of stress. Something changes for the better. Okay, very good. I think it's just that you're not expecting it to happen. Um, you put a lot of mental activity into something. Let's see. What else do we have here for Aries? Okay, I got the card of laughter. You need a good laugh. Yeah, I mean, find humor in a situation. You could just try to find humor. It's okay to be different. Self-acceptance. Chiron and Aries, self-acceptance. Um, connected to, squared off to people wanting you to conform, to be like how they want you to be. So um, I have citrine. <laughs> On my website if any of you are interested in citrine it's for joy good luck happiness third chakra energies um, prosperity as well but I'm gonna leave this reading here for you Aries thank you so much for tuning in um, basically look at what it looks like is you're gonna get a sudden transformation or something will suddenly occur that changes things for the better for you and it could be something that you've been waiting for. Justice in the Nine of Cups is underlying. High Priestess is what you find out. A secret that's revealed to you. And it causes you to start to reevaluate your situation. So it could even be a job offer. Um, something changes. There's an Ace of Cups and the Lovers here. So I'm going to leave it here. Thank you, Aries. And take care.